In today's video, I'm going to talk about the importance of designing using templates when you're working with Divi. Over here, you can see here, I have my site. If I scroll up here, it has this shrinking header here and any links that I add to this are going to be added here. It has all the colors, everything is all in place. And if I scroll all the way down here, I also have a footer which has links to my other pages and also links to my social media and also a phone number here if anyone needs to get in touch with me. And one of the most important things here is also when I, let's say, try to search for something like, let's say, watches, this search result here is designed in the actual template because if you don't use this, normally the results does not look, or the results page does not look really, you know, professional. So it's very important that, you know, this page has to be designed in the actual template. Now, let me show you something else as well. So let's say you try and search for a page that does not exist. So I'm just going to add some gibberish here. And this is a custom page, which is our error 404 page, which was also designed in the template. So what I'm gonna do here in this video is to show you where to actually build these templates and how you can actually do it for your own website. But of course, if you don't really wanna go in and learn how to do this, I have this template, which I've actually been showing you. It's called the Genesis template. It works with Divi themes. I actually have it on sale for $7. So if you're interested in this one here, the link to that is in the video description below. And also if you're brand new to designing websites with Divi, and you really want to take your web design skills to the next level, I also have a course which you have access to if you buy Divi using my affiliate link. Links to that in the video description as well. So first of all, when you log into your WordPress admin dashboard, you want to come over here to Divi and then click on Theme Builder. So this is where all the action starts. So as you can see, the default template here gets applied to the website. So my footer, as I was showing you earlier on, any design that I do in the footer gets applied to the whole website. So this is where all the settings are done. And the same applies to the header as well. This is where you make all your header changes. So to make the changes, all you have to do is to click here on this pencil icon. So this will take you into the builder. And this is where you can start building this. So you can go into any of these modules here and you can add new modules so let's say you want to add maybe an audio uh, an audio file here you can just do that by adding all your modules and once you add everything so let's say I'm going to save this and I know this doesn't look really nice but let's say I save this exit and I save all changes and now if I take a look at this footer on the site and I scroll all the way down to the bottom you notice that we have this here on the bottom and if we do go to a contact page let's go to our contact us you notice that this has been applied pretty much throughout the whole website so any page that you add onto your website is going to have all the changes that you're going to have in your footer so this is one of the major advantages of designing using these templates now let's move on to the next item so let's say you want to um add a custom 404 page like the one I showed you earlier on in the video. This is where you'd add it. So if I click here on uh, this pencil icon, in fact, if you want to add a new item, all you have to do is to click here on this plus. So this will take you to all your templates that you have access to on your website. So for example, this is the 404 page. You can just click here on 404 and then it brings up this. And then all you have to do now is to click on this pencil icon. It takes you into the design of this page. So let's say uh, I'm not happy with these colors. I can just go in here, go to the background, make changes to it. And this gets applied pretty much to all my uh, results of my 404 page. So once I save this, every time someone goes to my website and the page doesn't doesn't exist, they are going to see this 404 page. So it's very important that you design these pages right from the get-go before you actually start designing your website because this is what's going to make your website look professional. So the next page, which is very, very important, is the search results page. So when someone searches something on your website, you want them to have these results presented to them in a beautiful way. So this is the page that you need to actually beautify before you actually start designing your website. So again, if you come over here, click this little icon, you can come over here and really refine every single design on this page. So you can see here, I've added this background color. And also here you can um, adjust the size of the text and also the color to match your colors on your color palette. So this is also why it's important to come over here and design your search results page. The other pages that I think are also very, very important are your 
post page. So you want to make sure you design all your blog posts, the category pages, all your posts, and make sure that they all look the way you want them to look because you can really go in and highly customize this and make them look really, really nice. So once you've designed everything in here, it means that once you start adding all your content onto your website, everything just gets in place because you've had this template all built right from the start. Also, the good thing about using these templates is you can actually export these templates. So let me show you quickly how you do that. So if I come over here, this portability here, if I click on these little arrows, I can actually export this template and reuse it any other time. And if I need to import another template here, I can just come over here to portability, click on the import tab, and then I can just navigate here and look for my file. So let me just demonstrate this in real time. So if I come over here to this link and choose my file here, you can see this is the Genesis template. Let's say this time around, I need to use the light mode. I can just select it here, click on open. So this is going to override the default template and then it will import override existing assignments. That's great. So I'm gonna go ahead and import. So what's gonna happen now is it is going to take over pretty much what was there and still keep these old items there. So now if I click on save changes and I come over here and refresh, you can see now I have a different style footer and my header here is not dark anymore. It is now light. So this is how quickly you can import, export all your layouts. So this will save you a lot of time. And not only that, it will make your websites look really, really, really professional. So this is something that you can now do in Divi 4.0. If you're interested in learning more about designing websites using Divi, I have a web design formula course, which is pretty much everything that you need to know about designing websites using Divi. The link to that is in the video description below. You also have access to that course absolutely free if you buy Divi using my affiliate link and you can also get access to my Genesis template. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.